Friday, Saturday, Sunday, highs in upper 70s, lows in the 60s. Rain chances ramp up and are at their best on Saturday. And in the River Valley, close to 80 with overnight lows in the 60s. We're looking at temperatures near or above normal. Finally, by next week, hopefully some change. Hopefully, and hopefully no tornadoes. So in all, we do have confirmed tornadoes. About four London. of them. And what's interesting is that one in Poto, when we, um, Sean and I were out there yesterday, mm -hmm. that cell phone tower, when you see that tower snapped in half, you know you're talking about a big tornado. That's EF2. That's a strong tornado, 120 mile per hour wins, and some wow. um, strong damage, and thank goodness, only a few injuries. And 10 football fields wide. Yeah. Wow. wow. Picture that. It's huge. My goodness. It was a big storm the other night. All right, Garrett, thanks. Well, a 16-year-old girl in Little Rock starts a fundraiser after being diagnosed with an incurable disease. J.C. Hobbs was told that she had a condition called ulcerative colitis last November. The disease causes her to have ulcers on her colon. J.C. says she wants to use her experience to help others, so she decided to start the Step C Market Arts and Crafts Fair. All proceeds will go to help with the disease. A business owner in southwest Ohio finds more than just damage left behind after a tornado there swept through an area known as Beaver Creek yesterday evening. Natalie Tyndall has the story. It stuck out quite a bit, the fact that the, the cross was up there and everything else was torn to shreds. What started as a typical Tuesday night at the gym turned into an experience those inside would not forget. I, mean, I actually saw the downpour turn into like a spiral formation. And I'm looking outside and I'm like, oh my God, like, I think it's tornadoes. I mean, I seen it getting dark. Uh, the wind picked up a bit and uh, I was standing right, uh, right in front of the office window there and I... I heard a guy literally dart in the door and say, tornado. And as soon as he said that, I seen a tree come and it went right through the window. After that, FitWorks General Manager Chad Florence jumped into action, getting the more than 100 people inside the gym to the back bathrooms. As we were running back there, the roof literally came up and back down. Fixtures came down. I mean, dust, drywall, uh, busted holes in the top of the building. Water started pouring out everywhere. The intense moments only lasted seconds. Then they had a new problem. It kind of looked like smoke. Um, but upon like smelling it, you're like, all right, this definitely isn't smoke. It was like a gassy smell. The storm had knocked off the air conditioning units from the roof, causing a natural gas leak. The team then turned around and evacuated the building getting everyone out safely. I wouldn't say that it was so much like a frightening feeling as much as it was like an adrenaline type of feeling. But the feeling many were left with as they looked back on the building was one of amazement that maybe the two beams standing alone were a sign of something bigger at play. Now you look up there and the coolest part of the entire part is that this cross stands and being a Christian man myself, it was just, you know, I, I can't put it into any better words than, you know, I mean, it just... It was, it was miraculous. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Well, the Razorbacks gear up for their road to Omaha.